that. I'm hoping I'll do a tattoo with tomorrow. <laughs> Give me a whole brass now. What are you ringing? <laughs> I look a bit like the Ayatollah Khomeini, huh? Apart from beheading of four or five hundred people, he had a point. So little kitties will start doing that now. Huh? Huh? I said now all the little kitties. I just did pulled a funny face, and I said now all the little kitties will start oh, doing okay. that. Yeah, once it's out there, back. <laughs> Poking my tongue out as far as I can, right? Yeah. Mm, fine. You can touch your own apple, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> Not at So we've got four days to go. That gives us the uh, position on the 25 degree latitude south, which is uh, over towards uh, Fiji, 942 miles to uh, where I was born. Now, you'll only get that on uh, Easy Cosmos Carl Sagan program. Uh, which is uh, no longer available because they got rid of it. Um, the new locations measured with starry night. I got a pirate copy of it. Um, doesn't give you accurate information. They got it listed as some ridiculous. Number like 1142 miles for the total eclipse on uh, November the uh, 14th. So if you can imagine Madonna, yes, would you give me a felt pen and a couple of sheets of paper? About ten sheets or so, or the book, my book will do, wherever that is. Okay. Don't know what I've done with it. Okay. One of those blue ones, a little black one. Black one. Right. Perfect. Sure. All right. Let's see how this works out. So you got two major eclipses. You've got the year of the Jubilee, indicated by the 50th layer of masonry, which is a solar eclipse that occurs, you've got the pyramid like that, morning five degree latitude like that, solar eclipse on the 14th, I was born on a full moon, Therefore, you can't have a solar eclipse. But the first opportunity was 14 days later, on the 24th, and you've got a solar eclipse that appears there. And then you've got, in Australia, incarcerated for 942 days, or until I was 942 days old, August the 11th. My 
942 days later. So you've got 11th of January, add 942 days, and you get the 10th of August or the 11th of August, so you get the 222nd day of the year of 1946. And the this Jesus born Seventeenth of June two B C Is there blue pens over there too, Doug? Might make a nice contrast for the presentation. So from the solar eclipse, where I was born, forms a circle. That's the 25 degree latitude. Why? The fullness of the pyramid is 913106 P inches wide, which equals 25 years, if you call it days. First side, with the capstone in place, with God in place. Then you've got the 25 degree latitude. And from that eclipse, you draw an arc, circle. Where the two circles cross, the big one and the small one, may encounter, is 105 Rothschild Avenue, Sydney, Australia. And the two dates are 25th of January 44 and the 14th of the 11th 2012. got Jesus born on 17th of June 2 BC so on the 17th of June 17th of June 1946 I won 888 days old It doesn't end there, does it? Well, I'm born. Eleventh January, nineteen forty-three. There you go. Distance from St. Margaret's three eight seven seven miles to Pole.
not that hard, is it? From 105 Rothschild Avenue. Three eight seven five in accordance Greek. That is the comfort of God come down to tell you all things and teach you everything, and if I don't go, I won't be able to come back, obviously. So when I'm in Port Alberni. The 29th July 67, Jupiter. This is quite an easy one. In Port Alberni, Canada, there's a 3875 number comforter, teach you all things from Rothschild up near to the pole. The 3877 is very interesting because that's how many times the word God is found in the Bible and within it. Uh, four, 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 three times the word God is found. Oh, one. Not that out, is it? Two Chinamen on a beach. Marooned. Boated some. All they got left is a net. Fishing net. A bit of sponge. And a couple of planks of wood. and a large table. String the net, the bat, the ball back and forward so they made it out of sponge. And they invent the first time they are. So what was the name of that game? Had a big table. And she had to go on off the boat. One's name was Ping, the other one's name Pong. That's got nothing to do with it. So, in Port Alberni on the 29th of July 1967, my wife. Arlene Joyce Rosewoman, Angel had told me to marry Harlan. She's Jezebel. Reincarnate. You all got to come back. You couldn't expect Jezebel to be given to someone else. And well. So that's who she is. Most evil woman in the Bible. So the baby's born, well, what happened was I told her to get a job because I'm building a house, right? She wouldn't. I was building a house on Rex and Regina in Alberni. And uh, I got ripped off by a grand Irishman. There's no problem breaking his daughter's son. She was a doctor. You know, I was going to Ireland for a holiday and living there being a little seven year old kid. So 
So he ripped me off. Twenty-three thousand he paid for the house, and he ripped me off. So, so I built it for nothing. In any case, where my daughter Tracy was conceived was on the day of that date when Arlene said. She's a married lady, and married ladies don't work. I said, you ain't a lady, therefore you can have a baby. In a bedroom. That's what happened. Two hundred eighty days later, and the sunlight was eight hundred eighty-eight minutes, and Jupiter had eighty-eight thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight miles long, I it is, was over the conception date for eight hundred eighty-eight minutes. So the sunlight, the sunset for May the fourth, which is when all the planets line up in two thousand and four, and my body weight and all those planets is the same number as the area the shadows are in which is the same height as this highest mountain in Tahiti, in feet, which I've been to in 1966, 11th of November, something like that. And stood at, at the, uh, looking up at this gigantic height, made a straight up um, this is what you see at sea when you're sailing in, you can't miss them, pick a bloody mine. It's more than, more than hard to discover. Pile of clouds, just try a mountain on the island. And yeah, they did it with a Harrison Plot, my ancestor. And that name goes back to the um, people in Germany, of Hitler's Oxford. But they had been become corrupted and uh, intermarried with Jews. But the Habsburgs, in 847, moved to England and change the name to become lost if possible. Still into breeding with kings, however. And it was John Harrison that invented the Harrison clock that gave them that longitude and latitude. So we go to Tahiti. I'll just get off the subject as I usually do. And we go to Tahiti. And, and on Tahiti they wanted to study the transition of Venus and had brought a man called Green who was the uh, from the Royal, I think, at um, Greenwich Observatory, who was responsible for John Harrison getting his money out of the Parliament, £20,000 prize for the Longitude Committee, Longitude Prize, it's called. And uh, George III got him his money through Parliament, he's forced him to pay him. So they had that on the uh, voyage by Ross, who discovered Tahiti, called the George III Island, and saw the bloody mountain in the distance with the clouds bubbling up 30 or 40,000 foot. Couldn't miss it. Working? What's that, mate? They come up here, right? Oh, it's still drawing it off the hard drive really? at the moment. Yeah, sometimes it takes quite a while for some reason, but. Oh, don't? Yeah. Does it really in the end, though? They're not that big, only about four hours each. It was, um. The three of them were like nearly you know, 700 megabytes a lot, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not that bad, is it? No, it's pretty standard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, where was I? 1919, so Isaiah 1919 and uh, 1920 it was the height of the pyramid up to the missing rejected capstone, and therefore I got to marry a harlot and beget children by her because the distance from where I was born to where she was born, or conceived, I should say, and grew up, is 118.22 um, um, miles. Psalms number 11822 is the stone that builds rejected to become the other corner. So then we go down to uh, Mary Magdalene, Michelle, cannot be black. You've got to be able to try to shoot her. Her soul was black. He had seven devils. I was cast out and bloody seven times seven come back in. That's just life, right? So she had snared Jesus as she thought on the 11th of May. Same day left Australia on the run from the Lord. 
1999. So this magnificent trap had been left in footprints all over it. And uh, these things are all court record or astronomy records or registrar records or license, driver's license or my passport, for example. First part, passport was uh, April the 4th. Uh, no, fourth of um, third of it was April sometime. April third, the date of the uh, restriction, only sixty three, and then uh, we got nineteen sixty nine when it uh, runs out five years later. Um, same date as the crucifixion, uh, April third. Uh, so. <clears throat> we got where I'm at again. Red Moon starts at uh, over Australia on the date of the crucifixion in 19 in uh, 33 AD. Can't see it from Jerusalem because the moon doesn't come up till late. But when it comes up, it's red. But around the Earth, it's directly over where I'm to be born in 1944. By the conception date, which is my uncle's birthday, and that's why I'm called Ryan Leonard, but his name is Lynn, uh, Ray, Raymond Leonard. Not a very nice fellow. Luckily, you haven't got him as kin. So what happened was the conception uh, of my brother being outside of marriage in the eyes of a divorce, he becomes a bastard and therefore cannot inherit the kingdom by the two most royal people, one mother and father. Therefore, 8.88 years later, I'm born. And the sunrise to moonrise was 888 minutes. But the same date, the same period, sunrise to moonrise, was the same for the 17th of June 2 BC when I was born as Jesus. 8.55 minutes of sunrise to sunset, moonrise 33 minutes later for both locations. And one's in Bethlehem, of course, and the other one's in Sydney, which is the reflected mirror of Bethlehem. So it reflects the more. So we're going to go to town now. It's very likely Obama is dead for this reason. Our communication with him came after he had made the speech about the dreadful asteroid and nuclear fallout in uh, 2012. So he's what happens is this. With the uh, Twin Towers coming down, I've got to set the Patsy up. So with a mobile phone, Ben Laden um, is supposed to control these planes running into the uh, Twin Towers and so forth. And the miracle of the Seventh Tower. But it's all by itself. So the last one's a miracle, isn't it? Who knew? And uh, by downing the seventh, uh, 46th floor, seventh building in the complex, uh, without any impact by aircraft or any serious fire, it suddenly collapses. When the owner of it says pull it, a term in construction demolition. We pull the building where it's all detonated to go and burn out the infrastructure of the steel and uh, melt it all. 
with uh, ferrite. Magnesium works too. If you plan to build a building, put magnesium in, so you want to, after 50 years, you can insure it, bring it down. 